guys welcome back if you're new here my name is smitha welcome to my channel if you have hooded eyes like me this video is going to be useful because i'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know about an eyelid tape so without further ado let's get started now how would you know if you have hooded eyes all you have to do is look straight in the mirror and try to look at your lid space how much of it can you actually see just very little or perhaps nothing because it's hiding under the hood that means you have hooded eyes the reason hooded eyes are a little tricky to work with when you apply makeup is no matter what you apply it goes and hides beneath the hood and that's where eyelid tapes can help by pushing your folds back and giving you more lid space these tapes are usually very thin they are usually clear and you can place them on your eye to create a temporary crease i bought these off of amazon and i'm going to link it in the description box right below this video to show you how these perform i'm going to be using the lid tape only on my right eye and on my left eye i'm going to be doing the same exact makeup that i did on the right eye but without the tape and then we can compare the two lids now where do you attach the tape Look at your lid and see if there's a crease line passing right across your lid like mine. If you have one, then try to attach it right above that. Or if you have a fold on your lid, you can attach it above that. If you neither have the fold or the crease, try to attach the tape as high as possible. The higher you attach it, the more lid space you would make. And before you attach, make sure your lid is clean and dry. Otherwise, the tape will not stick properly. So I'm just dipping some Q-tip in water and I'm cleaning my lid space and I'm going to wait till it's dry before I attach the tape. Before I do my eye makeup, I'm going to finish up with my brows to fill in just the sparse areas. I'm using the precise my brows from benefit in 4.5 and i'm only going to be filling in the sparse areas and i usually avoid filling in the inner and outer parts of my brows because when you fill them in it looks really harsh i want my brows to look as natural as possible now that my lid is dry i'm going to attach the sticky tape right above my crease line with the help of a tweezer and then i'm going to gently press it with my finger till it's completely stuck to my lid and when i open my eyes now and look straight you can see that it has created that extra lit space and here is a comparison of the two eyes my left one doesn't have the tape and the right one has the tape and you can see what a big difference it makes to clean up the borders of my brows i'm going to be using a concealer this is the new boeing concealer from benefit in the shade four and i'm also going to be using this on my lid to even out the base before i apply any eyeshadows and i'm going to lightly set this with some translucent powder before it settles in those fine lines and folds and starts to crease And again, here's the comparison of the two eyes. I'm going to be using the new Bye Bye Birdie palette from Colourpop. It's such a pretty palette, especially for fall. I'm first dipping into Heron Chic with my Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm going to use this as a transition in my crease. I'm going to blend it out, diffuse it, and I'm also going to feather it outwards because I like that elongated eye look. And then with a smaller fluffy brush from Do Color, I'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line. To deepen the outer corner, I'm going to be using plumage and I'm going to take it with the small fluffy brush that I got in a Rimmel palette. I'm going to first carve out the outer corner and then using my Sigma E40 blending brush one more time, I'm going to blend it out with the transition shade and then I'm going to use plumage again in the outer third of my lower lash line and join it with my top lash line so there's that continuity. In the inner third of my lid, I'm going to be using Nevermore and I'm going to be applying it with a flat shader brush from Hip Dot.
and for the center part of the lid i'm going to be using gander and i'm going to blend it out with the other eyeshadows and again to apply it i'm using a flat shader brush from hip dot and as you can see because i'm sitting in front of harsh studio lights which is shining directly on my eyes you can actually see the eyelid tape very clearly and i'm using hd cameras uh, but if you walk out in natural light or if the light isn't this harsh you can barely see the tapes and in the outer third of my lid i'm going to be using finch In my waterline, I'm using a metallic eye pencil from Rimmel in Hypnotic Gold. Because I have extra lid space today, I am going to go a little bit thicker on my eyeliner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Liner in black. I'm going to draw out a wink and just a tad thicker than I usually do with my eyeliner. And I'm going to be doing the same on the other lid as well. And here is the comparison of the two. And because I went a tad bit thicker with my eyeliner, on my left eyelid, it has also smudged because of the fold, although I let it dry for a bit. And I'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using Roller Lash from Benefit. And for lashes, I'm using Pixie from Kiss Lashes. Here's the finished look and here is the comparison. So my right lid again has the tape and my left doesn't. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below and if you enjoyed watching this video and want more videos on hooded eyes, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. As promised, I've announced all the giveaway winners' names in the description box right below this video. Congratulations winners, I'm going to get in touch with you shortly to get your address to get your giveaway out to you as soon as possible possible and everybody who took part thank you so much and don't lose hope because there's a few names that i recognize from the winners names who have taken part since the past two years and have finally won it so good luck i will be having more giveaways coming up so make sure you take part i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new video bye guys